regret it because you failed to use your will, your knowledge and your mental faculty to the point where you will enjoy life around you. I'm only here and not in the gutters and in the pond of despair because I use my intelligence. And I swear that no man alive shall ever use his intelligence in understanding the works of nature more than I. I shall rise as high as he ascends. I shall meet him on the same platform of mental equality and fight him till thy kingdom come because nature created us equal. I want you to make up your minds as I made up my mind years ago. Make up your mind that you will rise to the knowledge of your soul. Because of your ignorance, you cannot understand and decide between good and evil. You don't know whether you're doing right or wrong. With a greater knowledge of life, you're able to appreciate all things around you. I'm able to gather you here because I understand you. Understand your neighbor, your wife, your children, and you will be able to live in harmony with each other and get the best out of life. The early Africans were able to be the fathers of our civilization because they persevered in their object. When we hear the civilization of the Alexandrias, of the Timbuktu's, the creation of the black man in the early ages, do we realize that the civilization we now enjoy was handed down to the present century? But the black man went back to sleep and is still sleeping. We are trying to awaken you to the true consciousness of yourselves. You young black men, you young black women, may we not appeal to you knowing you as we do. To turn over a new leaf. Rejecting the ignorance, the foolishness, the childishness that has been your part for these many years. It was a crying voice from the grave that said, Gavin, we have suffered for 250 years for your day and time. He expects something of you at this hour. The prejudice against us as an African people is not because of color. It's because of our condition. If we must have justice, we must be strong. If we must be strong, we must come together. If we must come together, we can only do so through the system of organization. But to fight for African redemption does not mean that you must be disloyal to any government or country wherein you were born. It is not our purpose or intention to send all black people back to Africa. No! Those of us who leave America to go settle permanently in Africa will become pioneers, pilgrim fathers of the new nation. African race became strong in Africa, it could be strong everywhere. We are men, we have hopes, we have passions, we have feelings, we have desires just like any other race. We are not going to be a race without a country, God never intended it, and we are not going to abuse God's confidence in us as men. We are men, human beings, capable of the same acts as any other race, possessing under fair circumstances the same intelligence as any other race. Africa has been sleeping, not dead, only sleeping. Today Africa is walking around not only on our feet, but on our brains. You can shackle the hands of men, you can shackle the knees of men, but you cannot shackle or imprison the minds of men. Dive down black men and dig. Reach up black men and women and pull all nature's knowledge to you. Turn you around and make a conquest of everything, north and south, east and west. And then when you will have wrought will, you will have merited God's blessings. And as you bow down to the white man today, so will other races bow down to you and call your race a masters because of the superiority of your minds and your achievements. We must canonize our own saints, create our own martyrs, and elevate the positions of fame and honor.